This is uh, JP Freeman that just yeah, ran. Got no, uh, left turn here, so I have to try to come back a different way. Yeah, just be advised it's on Martin Street. Martin Street. It's a Yeah, be advised it's on Martin Street. If you guys can come on the other end, they're actually blocking me from going near the scene. Yeah, if you guys can come from the other direction, that would be perfect because they're blocking the scene right here. If you guys come from the other end, you might be able to get that conversation. I got it covered from this end. If someone could walk around on the other side of the street, that would be perfect. Can you guys hear me on the radio at all? Yeah. How come you guys didn't come from the other end? We, we couldn't get on the other side. It was uh, like a field back there. Just ignore us, Sarge. It's JP Freeman from uh, New Hampshire Regional Cobbler, Cobbler.org. We're all here.
if one of you can, guys can get that conversation from the other side of the street, that'd be awesome, man. Oh, I got a boom mic, dude. This directional boom mic. I'll get that conversation. Do it, dog. The problem. The problem is those two offices could be incriminating someone illegally. We want to get that conversation. Not you. The conversation with the victim. I mean, I don't think that's happening right now. Oh, it happens. But how do we know? We, you could be protecting them. There's no objective view on what's going on. I'm not saying you are. It's just. It's possible. Is there any way to walk around this thing and come from the other direction? Or is this a dead end? Zoom in. That's not a dead end. I mean, I called you guys like eight times. Come from the other direction. Come from the other. You couldn't make a left turn on that road. Well, I'm saying you could have plugged the Martin Street into uh, the uh, GPS and you could have saw the map. But we saw where they turned, but we couldn't get around because you couldn't make a left there and then we were traffic. Work. Yeah. Is there, any, is there any barbed wire on that thing, or does it look like it used to be? It's barbed wire. Rock. Can I have a name and badge number for the record? My name? Yeah, badge number for the record. Yeah, no, my badge number is 121. True, badge number 121 out of Manchester? Yep. All right, thank you. No <laughs> oh, love it. We can't get an objective record with these two cops uh, bullying her on. See see how close in proximity she they're getting to her? They're basically coaching her. Well, I'll tell you what. I got a way around this, okay? I'm going to go take a ride down to a legal spot, and I'll be on the other side of the road. Yeah. If you can get that combo, that would be awesome. This situation is resolved. We would have already had our rights violated as far as being able to keep an objective view of public officials. I would like to stand over there. That's all I'm asking. If you would like to walk over there to escort me to the gate, that would be fine. But I would just want to stand where the gate is so I can see what they're doing. I promise I'm not going to go anywhere. You don't need to worry about me. I'll stay right, right here. There. She's ordered. I know you're following orders. I'm just 
it's not right to try to keep the press out. That's actually against the law in most states. I'm not sure. Is it New, New Hampshire? Is it against the law? They they can't stop videotaping any public official in any aspect Some whatsoever in, in in public while they're in their active duty. Department. Yeah. I would, you know what, you know what I would do. Just stay on private property because they have no jurisdiction in other people's property. Just go ahead. I'm pretty sure the ordinance gives them like five feet from the road. And they can take their chances on a suit. And uh, right car number is uh, 6435. And the other one is uh, 614. Looks like <laughs> Welcome to New Hampshire, guys. <laughs> They're lowering their tone. See, this is a tactic. The other one gets a statement, the other two coerce change facts in order to conduct an arrest. What they're doing is trying to incriminate, make her incriminate herself by talking to her. Getting as much information as possible. That's a training tactic. And they always use more than one cop to do it. So the other person feels helpless. They have no choice but to talk. She, she probably doesn't know she has a right to stay silent. Is there any uh, pamphlets to give her afterwards? Or? I mean, if, they let her, they let any of us get five feet from her. Yeah, you keep alerting me. You got a keen eye there. You serve in the army. Navy. U.S. Marine Corps, your former Marine. He's not going to be able to get through. He'll have to move his car for him. Yeah, you're happy to incriminate her, huh? Yeah. With a bunch of people talking about their side. And then they're accosting her. Marine, you're like wound up like a spring. Relax.
They definitely used to activists in this town. They probably used to the free status. And they're being Can I extreme. ask you, have you ever heard of copblock.org? Miss? Have you ever heard of copblock? Yes. Have you ever been on the website? There's a part on the website for law enforcement, especially for Leo's. Uh, we'd love for you to go check it out. It, it offers other ways that you can use your abilities to protect the community that doesn't put people in a position where you have to put force against people who are peaceful. Current jobs in law enforcement, you initiate force against peaceful people, and right now it's a monopoly where no one, can, no one else is able to offer their services. Have you, have you ever thought about going into private the sector? You can tell by the way she's stationed herself that she's combat oriented. Well, that's not a good place to be in a public safety position <laughs> of peace. Especially if you're former military. Although their cars at least don't say to protect and serve on them, so <laughs> at least they're not trying to put up the front. She's all right. She's being quiet and peaceful. I did 20, man. <clears throat> Navy. Hey, Pete, did they take her? They take her? A mental health eval, probably. Man, these guys are like whispering. One thing I don't like is secrets, Does your man. Department have that body cams. No, it got shot down in the house already. Really? Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's supposed to be in uniform, even with a jacket, right? Like it, 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 it depends on what town. I don't, there's no stipulation in New Hampshire. No, the, uh, state, the state reps voted against having the body cams because of one fact of the body cam. What uh, they want to do, what law enforcement wants to do, is prevent the public from getting the footage. So it got shot down because of that fact. The day we did the uh, wiretapping bill, they actually had that bill on the table too early in the morning at the state house. That bill sucks. The body cam the body cam bill, that bill was written horrible. Hey you can't give legal advice, sir. Thanks a lot. Cheryl, thank you. All set. Have a good night, guys. Marine, have a good night. <laughs>